This morning in our series, Save a Bundle, turning your refrigerator into a medicine cabinet. To show us how is dietitian Samantha Heller from Health Magazine. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning. You have brought with you lots of stuff. Let's start with lemon and mint. What do we use that for? Well, what lemon and mint is great for is for upset stomachs, nausea, morning sickness. Instead of all of these products here are multi-purpose, you already have them in your house, so you don't have to buy a single purpose product. So save six, seven dollars on an over-the-counter upset stomach reliever and use the lemon or have mint tea. Lemon is great in warm water or like a little lemonade helps your stomach yeah. and you said that that's helped you in the past when I was pregnant I craved lemonade all the time it's because I had the morning sickness right and it helps yeah right? it does yeah. now milk with cotton balls what would you use that for puffy eyes you know we're all talking about puffy eyes we want to huh. look awake and alert and you know eye creams can cost 30 60 dollars so cold cold milk whole milk with the cotton balls the cold decreases the puffiness the fat and other compounds in the milk help moisturize your eyes so it has to be whole because it's the fat in the milk that right. works probably the only time I'll recommend whole milk <laughs> there you go <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're using salt for our sinus. Right, you know, saline solutions, warm saline to clear out sinuses to help them stay healthy has been used for centuries. This is called a neti pot. And what you do is you fill it with warm water with some salt and you put it in one nostril down the other. It normalizes the environment in the nose, increases moisture so your body can fight some of those bacteria and microorganisms. Huge savings to buy salt versus those expensive medicines. All right, and nasal sprays, it's just a one purpose thing. Salt you already have at your house. There you go. Honey, four. Honey, wound healing, used for centuries. Um, put it on wounds, cuts, scrapes, obviously an infection, you need to see your physician, but actually the honey creates hydrogen peroxide, which is a natural antibacterial. And quickly, garlic, you're gonna have stinky feet, but put it on your feet anyway because? Athlete's foot, antifungal compound, rub it on the skin, put it in your socks, sleep with it at night, will help get rid of athlete's foot. Oh, your poor spouse. I know, you have <laughs> to really you. like them.